In this video, we describe a technique for inserting objects into images without requiring access to the scene, multiple photographs, special equipment, or any other aid. Here, a synthetic glowing sphere illuminates the room, reflecting in mirrors and casting shadows. Our method allows for objects to be inserted with proper perspective and occlusion and relit with an estimated lighting model of the scene's illumination. Inserted objects fully interact with the scene. This dragon casts red light onto the brick beneath it, and in the background, the bottom of the sphere is receiving a slight red tint from the light striking the brick below. Translucent and specular objects also realistically reflect the scene. Inserted objects can change the distribution of light in the scene, and also impact the amount of light received by the camera. Our method is applicable outdoors, and works for complex lighting patterns, such as shadowing from tree branches. To begin inserting synthetic objects, our system requires a small amount of input that non-expert users can supply in only a few minutes. Bounding geometry is estimated automatically. Even if the estimate is inaccurate, a user can easily correct the geometry by adjusting vanishing points and scene corners using our interface, as shown here. The user then annotates light sources by clicking in the image. Additional geometry can be added by scribbling in the image. Using this information, we automatically create a physical representation of the scene that now supports object insertion, including animations. Our interface allows a user to quickly specify extruded geometry, as seen here. Our system is quick and easy to use. This result was created by a novice user in under 10 minutes after a brief demonstration. To accurately light inserted objects, we have developed a single image semi-automatic lighting estimation procedure. From an initial image, we estimate the albedo and direct light with a novel intrinsic decomposition algorithm. Then, the user specifies initial light source locations, and we optimize this initial lighting configuration using our albedo and direct estimates. Without this optimization, synthetic objects appear much less realistic when inserted into the scene. We also describe a method for detecting shafts of light that enter the scene from an external source, such as sunlight. First, the user provides a bounding box of the shafts in an image, as well as the source of the shafts. We use a shadow detection algorithm to segment the shafts and determine the shaft direction by joining the centroid of the two bounding boxes in 3D. This information allows for objects to be inserted into shafts of light correctly. We also created a user study to measure the quality of our results. Can you tell which of these are real? We tested three methods for inserting synthetic objects, including our own, against real images. We also tested four variants. See our paper for details. Our study showed that each method appears highly realistic to people, and also that our method is preferred to other state-of-the-art techniques.